Welcome to Studio Classroom on the Air. This is the place to come when you want to have some fun. My name is Rebecca, and I know that your English will improve today. Now, what is one thing that you want to do, but you think that you can't do? Think really hard for a minute. Are you thinking? <laughs> well, I am here to tell you that if you really want it bad enough, you can do it even if it seems impossible. We are going to learn this life lesson in a lesson called Madeline Stewart. Today we are going to meet Madeline Stewart in our lesson and learn how she has chosen to correct myths about Down syndrome. In today's lesson, we will learn how Madeline Stewart is changing the fashion world. Well, friends, I know that you have your magazines. Make sure they are open because it's time to begin. Let's go. Madeline Stewart. Meet the international model who is changing the fashion world. Each year, one in 700 babies in the U.S. is born with Down syndrome. Globally, there are over 7 million people with the condition. Down syndrome occurs when a child is born with an extra chromosome, which affects its mental and physical development. Many people used to believe that those with the disability would never be able to function out in the world. People with the condition were often hidden away or confined to mental hospitals. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. 我们来看今天的第一个重点 disability 这个名词。字首 d i s 表示没有 ability 是能力 disability 就是指能力有缺陷，像是 physical disability 是指身体残障。Learning disability 是学习障碍，在形容人身心有缺陷时，这是一个比较恰当的用字。来看一个例句 ：Rhonda didn't let her disability stop her from becoming a lawyer. Rhonda 并没有让她的残障妨碍她成为一位律师。如果把 disability 的字首 d i s 改成 i n， 这个也表示否定的字首。就变成 inability， 指没有能力。后面通常通常会接 to 介系词来表示在哪方面没有能力。例如 ，Ray's inability to set priorities affected his yearly work evaluation. Ray 没有设定优先顺序的能力，因而影响了他的年度工作表现评估。继续，我们来看 confine 这个动词，片语。Be confined to somewhere or something. 的意思是仅存在于什么或仅限于什么。例如 ，The baby was confined to his crib while his mom took a shower. 妈妈去洗澡时，小婴孩只能放在他的婴儿床里。Confine 也指限制，后面接 to 来表示限制什么事物。例如 ，After his surgery, the doctor told Tom to confine his exercise to walking. Tom 手术后，医生要他的运动只限于走路。Well, thank you very much, Jack. Friends, I'm very happy to be here with you today as well. My name is Gabe, and we're learning about Madeline Stewart. Now, she is no ordinary young woman. No, she's not. She's actually an international model who is changing the fashion world. And let's get right into our lesson. We read each year, one in seven hundred babies in the U.S. is born with Down syndrome. 
Now, isn't that kind of interesting? Her lesson is supposed to be about Madeline Stewart, but we start talking about Down syndrome? Well, exactly, and I think we're going to learn how they're related. Um, but let's continue here. Globally, there are over 7 million people with the condition. So our lesson is providing us with some facts about Down syndrome, Tang Shizhen, and how many babies are born with Down syndrome every year. Down syndrome occurs when a child is born with an extra chromosome, which affects its mental and physical development. That's right. Okay, so they're born with an extra chromosome. Now, I'm no scientist, and I don't pretend to understand how an extra chromosome can affect somebody or their mental health or their physical health. Um, but this extra chromosome is what gives certain people or some people Down syndrome. Now, many people, our lesson says, used to believe that those with the disability would never be able to function out in the world. Now, I actually, I remember the first time I met someone with Down syndrome, mm -hmm. and I, I heard people talking about this person and saying, you know, this person's really not going to be able to do much, they're very dependent on their parents, mm -hmm. and they're never going to be able to live on their own. But it seems like perhaps those ideas are changing. Right, exactly. I don't know many people with Down syndrome. I know a few, um, but I can say that the families uh, that they belong to, the people that they know, are very happy people. Mm -hmm. um, down, people with Down syndrome are, for the most part, pretty happy, and they live happy lives, and their families do as well. They make the people around them happier. Um, but we read here, yes, people used to believe that those with this disability would never be able to function in the world. Can we talk a bit about those words, to function in the world? Yes. Yeah, so let's take a look at the, this word, to function. This basically just means to work or to operate or really be able to live. Exactly. And, you know, usually I use this word to mean work, right? Mm -hmm. um, this machine doesn't function properly. That means it's not working properly. Uh, but sometimes we use it when we're talking about how we can't operate the way that we feel like we should. So, for example, I'm trying to do homework and I want to focus, but there's a lot of loud music mm -hmm. going on. I might say I can't function with all of this loud music. It means I can't do things the way that I want to. So really, it can make a difference. It could affect the way that you work. Exactly. And now we want to take a look at this word, or the, the next phrase, in the world. You know, some people believe that those with Down syndrome would never be able to function out in the world. Now, what does it mean when we talk about in the world? This is referring to, like, the workplace anywhere out of their home, really. That's right, because the world, you know, it includes our homes, mm -hmm. it includes our families, so it could be talking about that, but most of the time when we talk about the world or being out in the real world, we're talking about getting out and being in a place where you have to be independent and work with other people mm -hmm. who may not be part of your family or close friends, right? So often we might add the word real, okay? Out in the real world, it's not like this, or it's kind of scary. We're talking about society. That's right. So at one time, people with Down syndrome really were not treated very well. Mm -hmm. We read here, people with the condition were often hidden away or confined to mental hospitals. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they just didn't know how to deal with these type of people, and they assumed that they couldn't function. Exactly, or maybe they misunderstood what Down syndrome was mm. or what it did to somebody. Um, and the idea is that, yeah, they thought this person won't be able to really make a difference in the world. But that is not the case. Well, we're going to learn more about this and Madeline Stewart a little bit later. But right now, let's go learn something about the special needs community in the, the Info, Info Cloud. Cloud. Hello everyone and welcome to InfoCloud. Today we are going to talk about the special needs community. First, we should talk about special needs. This is a term that describes specific needs that are associated with a disability. There are many types of disabilities, physical, emotional, developmental, 
and visual are just a few. But today, we want to focus on what is meant by the special needs community. Typically, the term special needs describes to an individual. Or programs in schools or teachers that provide services for special needs children. So, special needs teachers teach special needs classes. The special needs community can refer to groups of people with special needs, but it can also include the people who help care for them. Family, obviously, but also friends, teachers, or care providers, even if they don't know each other, make up the special needs community. And just like individuals with special needs who need support, the community of people who help out also need support. Any community can come together and help make their community safer, or more prosperous, or even more beautiful. So it's important for the special needs community to come together to share problems, solutions, and support one another. So, if you are a part of the special needs community and need some support, don't forget to reach out to other members of the community. 近几年来，我们对残障人士的称呼已经从以前那种含有歧视性的名词，改变成现在一些比较中性的名称，像是 special needs community， 就没有出现所谓的残障等等的字眼。special needs 就是特殊需求 ，community 就是社群。special needs community 就是有特殊需求的群体。这个名称不仅仅是针对身体上有特殊需要的朋友，它还包括心理和精神层面。除了有特殊需要的人 ，special needs community 其实还包括所有参与在照顾这些人的专业人士，像是特教老师或是医生、护士等等。当然，还包括投入照顾工作的义工和家长。这几种类型的人放在一起，就是一个 special needs community。特殊需求群体，这就是今天的 Info Cloud。我们下次我们再见。Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Studio Classroom, where we are learning about Madeline Stewart. Now, Madeline has a condition called Down syndrome, and at one point in time, people thought that if someone had Down syndrome, they would never be able to function in the real world. However, attitudes are changing. Let's find out more. Madeline Stewart. Today, however. Attitudes are changing, so much so that the world celebrates World Down Syndrome Day tomorrow. One incredible young woman is busy correcting many of the myths about the disability. Rising fashion celebrity Madeline Stewart is the world's first professional model with Down syndrome. On November 13, 1996, Roseanne Stewart gave birth to Madeline in Brisbane, Australia. Roseanne's doctor immediately informed her that her daughter had Down syndrome and would never amount to anything. Confused and scared, the young mom decided to learn everything she could about the disorder. Later, armed with knowledge and determination, Roseanne promised to give her daughter every opportunity possible. Myth Myth Liru, there is an urban myth that says riding the elevator after twelve will bring you to the moon. 有个都市谣言传说，十二点以后搭电梯会带你上到月球。Myth 也是指神话，是从 mythology 神话学这个字衍生出来的。例如 
Some universities require English majors to take a mythology course. 有些大学要求主修英语的学生要修神话学课程。最后，我们看 disorder 这个名词。我们看到这个字里的 d i s 表示没有的字首，而 order 是秩序，所以 disorder 就是指没有秩序、杂乱无章。例如。When I walked into my room, I was shocked to find it in complete disorder. 当我走进房间，很惊讶发现里面完全凌乱不堪。这篇文章因为是在谈一个患唐氏症的知名模特儿，所以 disorder 在这里是指生理或心理的失调，如 mental disorder 心智失调，也就是所谓的精神障碍。来看一个例句。Tim's mental disorder became more obvious after the death of his wife. Tim 在妻子去世后，精神障碍变得更加明显。Okay, let's get back to our teachers. Thank you very much, Jack. Well, let's continue on with our lesson. We read today. However, attitudes are changing. And this is exciting. This is very exciting because, like we already learned, at one time people with a condition with Down syndrome were often hidden away or confined to a mental institute of some sort. But people are becoming more informed and educated about Down syndrome. That's right. I have a friend who has a child with Down syndrome, and often she posts facts about Down syndrome on Facebook. I really appreciate that because. I don't go and do the research myself. I wouldn't know these things about people with Down syndrome, but they really help clear up misunderstandings about this disability, right?、Um, but we read here so much so that the world celebrates World Down Syndrome Day tomorrow, and our lesson doesn't mention it. But the reason March 21st is World Down Syndrome Day is because, of course, of that 21st chromosome. Oh, now that's an interesting fact. Okay, we want to take a look at this phrase. So much so.、Mm -hmm. Now you use this phrase when you want to say that the previous statement is so true. That's right. So much so. And usually, I don't start a sentence like this. I might put it after a comma or something. But we see it here at the beginning of the sentence. For another example, my wife. Really, for for real, she loves hot pot, hot pot,、mm. so much so that she'll eat it on the hottest day of summer. That's how much she loves it. Wow, <laughs> your wife really does like hot pot. Yeah. Well, I'm told that at the hot pot restaurants, they do make it a little bit colder inside. It's true. That's one of the reasons she'll eat it during the summer. It's <laughs> freezing in there. Anyway, but that's just one way you can use that sentence pattern. Great example. Well, let's continue on with our lesson. One incredible young woman is busy correcting many of the myths about the disability. Rising fashion celebrity Madeline Stewart is the world's first professional model with Down syndrome, and I think this is so exciting that finally the fashion world. Is embracing a woman with Down syndrome and allowing her to do perhaps at one time she wouldn't have been able to do. Exactly, and we're going to learn more about Madeline Stewart and her background in this next paragraph. So we read on November thirteenth, nineteen ninety six, Roseanne Stewart gave birth to Madeline in Brisbane, Australia. Roseanne's doctor immediately informed her that her doc. That her daughter had Down syndrome and would never, we read in quotes, never amount to anything. Never amount to anything. Can you imagine someone telling you that the child that you just had would never amount to anything? Right. Well, let's take a look at that phrase. What does it mean if you'll never amount to anything? This just means that you're never going to be able to do. Anything, and you're pretty much just worthless. And so, friends, when should you say this phrase? Well, never. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> don't say this to anybody or about anybody. You don't say this person will never amount to anything. You'll never amount to anything. That's not nice at all. There's only one situation where、mm -hmm. I could think maybe you could use this phrase, and that is when talking about the enemy or the opponent.、Mm -hmm. Right? You could say, "Oh, their plans will never amount to anything." 
but don't say it about somebody. Maybe talk about their plans or something. That'll never amount to anything. That's right, and great reminder, Gabe. Well, con continuing on, confused and scared, the young mom decided to learn everything she could about the disorder. Later, armed with knowledge and determination, Roseanne promised to give her daughter every opportunity possible. And we want to take a look at those two words, armed with. If you're armed with something, that means that you have the necessary tools, weapons, or resources to do something. For example, if you're a lawyer in a courtroom and you have done your research, you have a lot of great evidence for uh, the person you're represented, you could say that you are armed with confidence and the evidence you need to win in that court case. Those are just some examples. You can be armed with something that is not just weapons, but something like knowledge and determination. Exactly. Now, earlier we learned about, or we, we saw the word Australia, mm -hmm. Brisbane, Australia. Well, right now it's time for us to learn a little bit more about Brisbane with the SC Travel. How you doing, mate? I'm your host, David, and I want to take you to the wild world of Brisbane, Australia. Our first stop is the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Cuddling a koala is a quintessential Aussie experience. That's a big word that just means it's the perfect example of something. And what's more perfect than seeing koalas, dingoes, kangaroos, and more all in the same place? Once you've had your fill of furry friends, head into town and check out their cultural precinct for some family-friendly fun. There are tons of excellent museums and galleries and the riverside view makes it a great place to relax. On hot days, you'll find many locals cooling off at the Wynnum waterfront. This fresh seawater pool has a wonderful view of the Brisbane port and it's a great spot for a barbecue. But if you're traveling on a weekend, be sure to check out a farmer's market, especially the Jan Powers Powerhouse Market. Here, you can enjoy fresh produce, handmade souvenirs, and a chance to taste the local flavors. Speaking of flavors, have you ever had a duck taco? This creative dish is a big hit at a local spot called Red Hook. But if you want a real treat, Feast your way through Brisbane's Eat Street. And don't forget to check out Dessert Alley if you have a sweet tooth like me. Finally, you can't leave Brisbane without having a nice, juicy steak. Aussies really know how to cook a cow. Well, our tour of the land down under must come to an end. But I'll see you next month on SC Travel. I have a lot of respect for parents because I feel like parents make a lot of sacrifices for their children and we see this in our lesson about Madeline Stewart. Madeline's mom, Roseanne, made a lot of sacrifices for her daughter because she believed that her daughter could do anything she set her mind to despite the fact that she has Down syndrome. Well, friends, we have more to learn about Madeline Stewart next time, so be sure to join us. We'll see you then, right here on Studio Just Classroom. All the time, a good friend lasts a lifetime. A friend gives at all times. A friend cares at all times. A friend endures at all times. A good friend lasts a lifetime. I am so proud to have you in my life. A good friend lasts. A lifetime